Oh, hello. I'm Ron Charles, the editor of the Washington Post. Well, not the editor of the whole Washington Post, but the editor of the feature section. If by that you mean the book section. Well, not exactly the editor, more like the book critic of the book section. Well, okay, a book critic of the book section. But I think we're getting way too caught up in the so-called facts. The essential point here is that this week's book is by the most famous writer in the world, James Fry. Katarina is a new memoir disguised as a novel about Fry's first novel, which was disguised as a memoir. Way back in 2003, before the fall of man, a young writer published a searing story about his experience in drug rehab called A Million Little Pieces. You got conned, and you got conned, and you got conned, everybody got conned! And that brings us back to Katarina, which takes place before and after James Fry's lucrative humiliation. In 2017, the narrator Jay is a wealthy writer in LA, whining about his unfulfilling and fabulously successful career. Suddenly, Jay gets a Facebook message from Katarina, a gorgeous model he once knew in Paris. If you don't have a 13-year-old at home, these passages will strike you as really cutting edge. But fortunately, most of the novel takes place back in 1992, when young Jay flew to France. I was a young man, lost and wandering in Paris. I came seeking and searching, lost and hungry. Desirous of and desperate for books and art and madness and love. Desperate for life, for life, for life, desperate. I began to feel desperate too. But there's a lot of sex in this novel because beautiful women keep throwing themselves at Jay in his apartment, in bars, in bathrooms, in dark corners. That and the fact that he's always drunk and high, which means he spends a lot of time in this novel vomiting. He vomited when he got up. He has vomited after sex. He vomits while looking for alcohol. He will vomit while drinking. He's a full conjugation of the verb to vomit. Which, if you're prone to sympathetic vomiting, means that you might... <laughs> Anyhow, the novel regards Jay as a singularly tragic hero who's always nattering on about his literary destiny and wishing he could be like all of you, ordinary. Will Jay ever find the meaning he craves amid all that success and wealth? Will Jay ever reconnect with the beautiful Katarina? For the Totally Hip Video Book Review, I'm Ron Charles, hoping all your books burn the world down. Ron? There are sprinkles everywhere.